What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. The PlayStation 4 continues to dominate the world. I think the PS4 is Illuminati. I think that it's related to Barack Obama by blood. I think that the PS4 wrote the Declaration of Independence. The PS4 is something special. It's 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 something different uh, when it comes to sales and the recognition and uh, the acclaim that it's getting. Everybody's buying one. I got two of them and it's for a reason. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of bystanders uh, in in this situation, and Microsoft happens to be one of them. They are losing badly in the sales department and even in software sales. There's an article on GameSpot.com. I'll drop a link in the description. Ubisoft's Xbox One game still not outselling the Xbox 360s. PlayStation 4 editions of Ubisoft games outperform both Microsoft consoles combined. Microsoft has revealed that its Xbox One games are still not outselling those re released on Microsoft's last-gen platform, the Xbox 360. The Paris-based publishing giant told its investors on Thursday that during the three-month period between April and June, the Xbox One editions of its games represented about 11% of total software revenue. By comparison, the Xbox 360 also represented about 11% of Ubisoft's game sales, as did the PlayStation 3. These figures come despite Ubisoft's biggest game in the past six months, Assassin's Creed Unity, not shipping on last-gen systems. In a further indication of Microsoft's steep challenge on the market, the PS4 versions of Ubisoft's games accumulated more revenue than the Xbox One and Xbox 360 combined at 27%. Microsoft still has many years ahead to generate stronger momentum for the Xbox One. But presently, Ubisoft's numbers will make a convincing argument to third-party publishers that PS4 has become the lead console. In the last 18 months, a growing number of publishers have announced exclusivity deals with Sony on franchises like Street Fighter V, Destiny, and Call of Duty. Ubisoft has also revealed to its investors that the Wii and Wii U represent a total of 3% of software sales combined, a figure that is up 2% year-on-year. PC game sales represent 23%, meanwhile, which is significantly higher than last year. Overall, Ubisoft's executive team announced a sharp plunge in revenue for the quarter, down 73% to $103 million. This figure was nonetheless higher than Ubisoft had projected. So what does this mean? This means that Ubisoft's sales on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 are 22% across the board, and that the PS4 accounts for 27%. Between the months of April and June of 2015, PS4 is dominating. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't think that. There are a lot of people who do not want to see that. But it's pretty self-evident that the PS4 is really, really a magical system this generation. I think that it's going to... I don't know if it's possible at this point that the Xbox One could come out on top. Uh, I think their price drop is going to help them quite a bit. I think the fall of this year is going to help them out tremendously. They've got some great games coming out in the remainder of the year. And Sony doesn't have anything really... Uh, worth mentioning lined up for the end of the year. You guys let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is going to change? You think, What do you think Microsoft has to do to change this? Because for the simple fact, the Xbox One is only getting 11% of Ubisoft sales in three months when the PS4 is doing 27%. Imagine how this looks to other devs. If we could hear, you know, be a fly on the wall in one of their offices, the PS4 is probably doing this everywhere. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and become a beast and subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.